It's the Rock Man back at it again, making them volume squat gains. I see you guys posting up your training footage, and I don't want to be left out, so here's this week's volume training day. I have been doing these for two weeks. I did 145, 150, 155, and now 160. This week I missed a training day in the middle of the week because I went off program last Sunday to hit those two doubles with 225 and generating that maximum force out of that bottom position to make sure that those reps were clean and that bar path was straight really took it out of me a lot more than I was expecting. So I just took a couple extra days off. I lost a little bit of conditioning. Really the goal of this type of programming is to stack up your fatigue, accumulate the fatigue over time through volume, through increased volume, and then dissipate it as you taper your way back up to a single. But I needed the mental motivation to kind of start working on these again because volume squats are tough. Even though they're the, the bread and butter of my program, it's hard to get back into the groove of training these things. So when I had 225 on my back, it became very apparent that I needed to hone in my walkout and you'll see that it is more effective this week than it has been. One, two, three steps right where I want to be. And then just little toe wiggles. And then I'm locked in. My feet don't move for the rest of the set. I just do my reps. That's what you want to see. Because when you start getting close, closer to 90%, and especially when you've got wraps on your knees that's limiting your mobility, those little inconsistencies in your walkout really stack up quick and it can mean an extra rep or it can mean getting thrown out of position on your squat and you don't want to have to bust an ugly grinder on the second rep of something you should be able to do for five or six reps so you will see i built a new box with a larger surface because my ass is bigger than i thought it was <laughs> here i'm goofing around with the cat stalling this last set I didn't want to do it. I really didn't. <laughs> Have some ammonia, kitty. But you got to put in that work. So, I was expecting here to hit eight for sure. Ten maybe, and then see uh, if I had 12 in me. But when I built this box... I built it with a larger top, angled the legs at 15 degrees for more stability, just so that the base would be wider than the top. Uh, what I didn't factor in was the height of the pad, so although I am in an effective training range, trust me on that, I got maximum muscle stimulation from these sets. Um, it's kind of a weird spot to train out of all of the time. So I need to chop off about four inches and then build it back up with horse stall mat so that I can have more variability in where I set the box. Because if you watch on a lot of my reps, when I come down, bar pad the straight and then boom, I'm breaking it backwards. So it's giving me the appearance that I'm rocking forward out of the bottom of the squat because it's like a two inch board press. So it's set right where guys start their slowdown. Once they lose that initial power off the chest, they start that slowdown. And really, your sticking point is a couple inches away from where you actually, the bar actually stops. So this is like stopping in the high range of the hole. And it's difficult to get one started from here for me which is good in some respects, but I need more variability in my training equipment. And this one really gassed me bad. I'm getting close to my limit on what I can hit for 15 reps. Because I uh, had a pretty, <laughs> pretty intense cramp in my left quad there. Um, but a little bit because I'm losing 
conditioning missing that day in the middle of the week, but also because that was definitely RPE 9. But I'm very happy with those squats. And even though my leg was my right leg was trembling pretty bad here on this final set, I was able to hit all of my sets of my auxiliary work, and that's good because these have been good to me. So just wanted to throw a volume training day in there because this is the bread and butter of my workout. It's just not the most glamorous of lifting videos. Hope you guys are training strong, and as always, thanks for watching.